how different are Arabic and Farsi? Why do we use so many of their words even today? So the reason the Hindi language incorporates so many Arabic and Farsi words is the very reason why the people in southern India find it so difficult to understand Hindi. Because they are way more comfortable with Sanskrit. Sanskrit is very much a part of every language in India. Sanskrit vocabulary is part of every language in India, no matter where you are, right? And it is this Arabic and Farsi intrusion into the Hindi language, which makes it difficult for them to understand. So Arabic and Farsi are extremely different languages. Arabic is a Semitic language. Farsi is an Indo-Iranian language. It is very close to, to Hindi. We say Chandra in Hindi, in Sanskrit. They say Chand in Arabic, right? And I can, I can give you lots of different examples like that. So if you, if you understand any language that is derived from Sanskrit, any, any Prakrit derived language, it's very easy for you, you to learn Farsi or Parsi. Because it's essentially part of the same language family. And if you are a, Pars, a Farsi speaker, it's very easy for you to learn Hindi. I, When I was a student, I was living in a hostel. There were a couple of Iranian students there. And they had picked up Hindi, fluent Hindi in a matter of months. They could converse very fluently. They had a slight Persian accent, but that's fine. So it's as easy to learn Persian as it's as, as easy as it, it is to learn Kashmiri, for example, or, or any other Indian language. That's how easy it is. So Persian or Farsi is very much part of the Indo-Iranian language family. It's almost like an Indian language. It's slightly more distant, but it's not hard to pick up at all. Arabic, on the other hand, is an entirely different language from an entirely different language family, right? The Persians have been forced to adopt or to yeah to adopt the Arabic script with some uh, modifications. So that's why it appears that Persian is close to Arabic while it is not. I, I'm sure there are Arabic loan words inside Persian too because of the uh, history that Iran has had for the past thousand years. It was under Arabic occupation and it has been made to absorb Arabic culture and, and a great deal of the Arabic way of life. So there must be, I'm sure, a great deal of Arabic loan words in the Farsi language today. I have not studied this language, but I understand the linguistic uh, aspect of the language family that it belongs to. So these are two very different languages, extremely different. But these are both present in, so in, in differing uh, quantities in Hindi because of the uh, Turkic occupation of India which also brought in Arabic and Persian influences, right? So, so that is the reason why we unfortunately use so many of these foreign loan words today. It's not because of our choice. It's because of, because of the, uh, the history that our country has had over the past few centuries.